Vitamin B9 or the folate or folic acid is one of the most important vitamins and you will see it everywhere. You will see it in the clinical practice and in your exams. It has crucial functions in building the DNA and RNA. And these are the building blocks for all our cells. So cells that are constantly making more and more DNA, or in other words, cells that are constantly dividing, are the ones who need vitamin B9 the most. Because if you're constantly dividing, you're constantly making new DNA. And if you're making new DNA all the time, you will need vitamin B9 all the time. So think of bone marrow, the lining of the GI tract, the skin, the hair follicles, and any other cells that are constantly dividing. And of course, one of the most important cells that are constantly dividing are the growing fetus. A growing baby will constantly make new cells to make the baby. So if somebody has deficiency in vitamin B9, they will have many defects in the baby. The two groups of people that are at most risk of developing this deficiency include alcoholic patients, because alcohol, as we know, interferes with the absorption of vitamin B family, because the growing fetus will consume most of the mother's vitamin B9. Most of vitamin B9, and they will... will... Vitamin B9 is very dependent on the intestinal tract, meaning that having a healthy intestine is very essential for absorption. So people undergoing surgeries that take large amounts of the intestine are likely to develop deficiencies. And think of any other condition that can cause disruption of the intestine, like inflammatory conditions or allergic conditions such as celiac disease. One of the most important side effects or deficiency symptoms include megaloblastic anemia. And we can see this in two vitamin deficiencies only, vitamin B9 and B12. In this case, the patient will have anemia, so less blood cells, and the blood cells that they have are larger in size. And these large blood cells are defective so they cannot transport oxygen very effectively. The patients will also have weakness and fatigue, irregular heartbeats or arrhythmia, shortness of breath, and this relates to the megaloblastic anemia, difficulty concentrating, hair loss, and pale skin. The main sources of food include dark green foods or vegetables, such as the turnip, spinach, and broccoli, beans, peanuts, sunflower seeds, whole grains, liver, aquatic foods such as fish, and eggs. And of course, vitamin B9 is supplemented everywhere. So there are many foods such as rice and uh, certain types of bread and cereal that are fortified with vitamin B9. The recommended daily intake is 400 micrograms a day, and this increases to 600 micrograms a day if a patient was pregnant or lactating. Patients who are also alcoholic should take 600 mg a day because they are at risk of developing deficiency. So the range is between 400 and 600 micrograms a day. It is very difficult to see patients who develop toxicity from eating foods that contain vitamin B9. But symptoms, but symptoms of toxicity can develop if a patient takes supplementation too much. However, this is also extremely rare. Use the link below to get access to the full Essential Vitamins and Minerals course. In this course, we will talk about all the vitamins, the minerals, their important functions and deficiency symptoms. At the end of the course, you will be an expert in vitamins and essential minerals, as the course covers everything that you need to know.